This is a vision. This is an idea of my good friend Mike Scott. I've mentioned him here on the channel before. He and I share a fascination with the surrealist artists, with uh, dreamlike moments, and this is a great example. And his original title for this was Too Long T, which if you know T, you know there's a bit of a pun there. Um, so this is a great moment. to. This gives you justification too. The next time you're at a Starbucks or with some friends in a diner, imagine heading into this for a couple of friends, and then it goes from two or three people noticing to two or three tables to the entire restaurant you standing on that chair, quietly dipping your tea. What a gift. You might be thinking, that's just crazy. What a gift to everyone there. They're gonna go home and say, I saw this, you'll never believe, you'll never believe what I saw in the coffee shop. It was the craziest thing. So I love that, what a gift. I mean, in many ways superior to finding somebody's selected damn card. Okay, so now, how to make this practical? How to make this practical. And again, all this thinking very much worked out by Mr. Michael Scott, okay? But I, I was thrilled to share it here in the channel. So I have a tea bag. And I have about three feet of either white thread or what you can do is take a piece of string if it's the kind that has several strands in it, take out one of the strands. Uh, you can all, even use dental floss. No one's gonna call you on it. It's not like someone's gonna go, I don't think that, that's dental floss. No, it's not gonna happen, okay? So you, uh, now if I were you, I mean, I, uh, going to the trouble to do this is part of the magic. When, when it finishes and people realize your friends go, he made all, that's just weird. That's part of the magic of it all. Okay, so um, what I've done here is I've done it legit. I kept it legit where I removed the original string, um, then got the one end of this, threaded it through here, tied a clean knot just the way it really comes. No, I didn't use tape or a staple, though I was tempted to. And then at the other end too here, typically, uh, I removed the string, thread it through, tied one clean knot on this end too, okay? Now, to make this practical, because it's great to have a surreal moment to share with people. But get a tea bag, put it in a stand, and put it back inside, okay? Back inside the tea bag like that. That's easy, okay? Like that. Now, then, uh, about starting about uh, two or three inches from the end, around, I would suggest two fingers. You make very steady, one beside the other, beside the other, beside the other. You wind the whole thing up, okay? Having wound the whole thing up, I'm now gonna carefully, and I don't want the ends, don't let the ends cross. You know what that's a reference to. There like this, okay? Then I'm gonna take this, put it on the tea bag. Then this gets tucked back inside the top and there. You have something ready to go. Carry it in your shirt pocket, carry it in your back pocket when you're gonna meet some friends. It is all ready to go. So. How do you present it? How do you get from here to that magic moment? Well, the key is a natural misdirection or lag time. Be the last of your friends to go up or finish a coffee, say I'm just gonna get a tea, whatever, or everyone's seated and you'll go over there because all you really need is maybe six seconds alone to make this happen, all right? So I get my hot water at the front, at the two, okay? Take this out of my pocket, and again, no one's staring at me now, okay? And all you have to do is remove the paper clip, okay? Uh, once you remove the paper clip, you get the bundle in your hand, you uh, grab this at the top of the bundle, okay? Get the tea bag out, have this all ready, and you walk back over here to your friends just doing this, right? So that took all of them, and I was doing slow. You could probably do that in three seconds. Like boom, 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 take it out, come back over, boom, and, you, and now you're totally set. And I like to have a little bit of this hanging over the top, and then this here like that. And then you are totally ready to slowly, and I think the key is, and if you're a little worried about the, the, the strands kind of balling up or whatever, uh, you can use both hands, that's just fine too. And then from that moment on, from that moment on, it's all about very slowly, and I suggest silently, don't draw attention to itself. Unlike so many magic moments that you have to pull focus, here, stretch this out, five, 10, 30, 40, 50, 60 seconds, just stretch it out and do it very, very slowly. And of course, standing on the chair is key. And you can pull from one end or the other as you go. By now, your friends, of course, are seeing that something very wrong is happening. And 
then maybe about now when you've only got a few inches left, you can go up on the chair. That's probably the most dangerous thing I do all day. And you can find cards, like I said, and you can make coins vanish. But you do this. And again, it's just an amazing public spectacle.